You know, it's been a long time since uh, December the 5th, and uh, it's the last time we played that game against Baylor. And players walked off the field, coaches walked off the field, and everyone was excited. And then we got into spring ball, and it's been very competitive. It's been a lot of energy. And this spring, what one thing we want to do is just make sure we're very organized and fundamentals and technique is going to be very important. And the thing about it is that we had to be more instinctive. And that's what I was telling our coaches is that we got to be better teachers. And when you're better teachers and you make it simple, guys will be instinctive. Some of the goals this spring, just offensively, we want to teach in the man execution. Knowing it's a new offense, you know, the offensive coach is going to do a great job of teaching it. And we just got to make sure that we can execute it. Defense is all about execution. I'm sorry, it's all about attention to detail. And we just got to be able to communicate on defense. Overall, as a team, it's about team chemistry. It's about individual improvement. It's about discipline. It's about we have to be patient. With a new offense, we have to be patient. But also, we have to build confidence and motivate our players and just making sure that each practice counts. We can't just go out there and waste a practice. We only get so many opportunities this spring, and we got to make it happen. Coach, obviously, this will be the first time you're kind of in a practice setting with your new coaching staff. The camaraderie's been pretty good so far. What do you expect from the first day of practice? Well, I just hope that, you know, we've had a great meeting, Sean, and just now we just take it from the meetings to the to the field. And we have, you know, you look at Sterling, Matt, they're doing an unbelievable job. And then adding Charlie to staff, Jeff is, uh, is an old head, and then you got uh, AJ. So you had that offensive staff, and they're going to be able to work together, been meeting a lot. So I, I, I feel like once we hit the, the field, that we've had enough meeting time now where we can get things accomplished on the uh, football field. And then you look at us on defense, you, you still have Vance there. You have a BJ and then a keeping break and then an add Clay to the mix has been really good for us and very helpful. So we have a, you have old veteran guys, you have a good mixture there. You have old veteran guys and you have some young guys. And now it's all about us becoming teachers and getting it done outside on the field. When we talk about upgrading the position, we got to start with the defensive front. I, I, I think that's the a key position there. You know, the, the next need would be at, at the wide receiver position. We, we need some playmaker there. You know, we're talking about, you know, spreading this thing out. Now, whose hands are we going to get the ball in? And then we talk about the quarterback position because as the, the team is going to go as a quarterback goes. And we just got to make sure that we have the numbers there. Now, it's about who's going to really step up and be that guy. You know, it, it, can it be swoops? Can it be hurt? I mean, who who is it going to be? Can it be Bouchelle? Will will he be the guy? But who who's that guy there at that position? Be comfortable playing a true freshman quarterback. If if I if we feel like that, you know, he can take us where we need to get to, we we could play a, a true freshman at quarterback.